Today I wanted to show you guys how to get around the current issue with the Windows Media Creation Tool. Uh, if you download it right now, you'll uh, get the newest version, but you'll get an error message when you try to set up your USB bootable stick, or even download the ISO. But we're going to try to open the newest version right now, and I'll show you what happens. So it says getting a few things ready, it'll load for a couple of minutes, uh, but ultimately you'll get this issue the uh, uh, 0x80072f76 problem. Uh, if you google it a lot of people are getting this issue. It looks like it's related to the fall creators update. Um, I tried all of the suggested steps running in compatibility and rebooting a bunch of times and making sure Windows updates were completely up to date uh, but none of them actually solved the problem for me. So the way that I got around this was setting up uh, an extension for Chrome to basically uh, present Chrome as a mobile device or just a non-Windows 10 device to the Microsoft website, uh, kind of to trick it into letting me download the ISO. The reason that we have to do this is that uh, when you go to the media creation website, once they detect that you're running Windows 10, the only option that's presented is the actual uh, media creation tool. They won't let you just download the straight ISO anymore. So we're going to go to options, more tools, extensions, click get more extensions. Then in here we're going to type in user agent switcher and hit enter. So make this a little bit bigger here. So we're going to add this second one here from google.com. Click add to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. It has been added, so we're all set there. Now you'll see the small icon up here. So uh, you want to click on it and then choose basically any platform other than Windows. So what I usually do is click on iOS and then we're going to say that we're on an iPad. Alright, so we're going to go back to the media creation website, Windows 10 ISO. So now that we're here, we're going to scroll down, we're going to select the edition. There's only one now, Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, so you will have to download that. We'll select that, you're going to hit confirm. Then you're going to get this page. Um, make sure it still says Windows 10. You're going to want to go down to the product language and choose whichever uh, language you speak. Then we're going to hit confirm. So you'll be presented with a page. The links are actually time sensitive for some reason, um, but you'll have to download the version you want. I would strongly recommend downloading a 64-bit version now. Um, so we're going to click download and you can see down here that the ISO is downloading. It is uh, version 1709 now. So we're going to have to download a program to get this ISO uh, converted into a bootable USB drive. So we're going to Google a program called Rufus. Go to the main website. Then we're just going to download the latest stable version, version 2.18. Save. And open that. So now that we have Rufus downloaded and opened, uh, we're going to get the USB drive all set up. We're going to click the CD-ROM there, and then we're going to click on our Win 10 download. And we're going to choose a standard Windows installation. So we're going to make sure that uh, the partition scheme is set to GPT for UFI. The file system is FAT32 and the cluster size is 8192. And then we're going to hit start to start the process. Um, you will be warned everything on the drive will be deleted. As long as you're fine with it, you can click OK to proceed.
depending on the speed of your system and the flash drive, this might take a little bit to get set up. Um, it does have to copy over a couple gigs worth of uh, files. You can see here it's almost finished up. Uh, it definitely is going to take a long time if you're doing it on a 2.0 drive. You can see here that the installation finished and the draft is now bootable.